just navigating through the fog here on Basswood Lake. We're at a bit of a standstill here because of of that. We've hit a wall of of fog or mist or whatever you want to call it. We have made it to Prairie Portage. And there's even a park store here. Do you have anything to say? Where are we? We're at Prairie Portage. Woohoo! Okay, so we have a couple of juvenile bald eagles. And there's where I can't there's Bummer Dad. Here's our other. Who's over there? Cool. How many bald eagles is that today now? Five or six? So we just landed at our campsite after a really long day. We're like a day ahead of schedule. And we heard this eagle at our campsite. And here it is. We've seen, I think this is the 14th one we've seen today. There's our friend. One just flew off. Hello from Knife Lake. We are on Eagle Point. There's an eagle feather here that we found. How do I know that? Because you, I think I already showed you the, the um, eagle that was up in that snag back there. Bryce is just pouring himself. What have you got there? Some scotch. Some scotch. Is that because you had a really long day? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've had a couple of really long days. Um, just because we were paddling across Basswood and that's a really big lake. And we had amazing wind, so we just went for it. So we're actually like a, a half a day ahead and tomorrow we have to push on quite a bit of ways because there are no campsites on the Ontario side of the boundary. So the next spot is quite a ways up so we're going to paddle hard for that and then have kind of a shorter day the following day. So um, it's been like a beautiful day. It's so sunny right now. There's been no clouds for the last, like, three days. And, uh, this campsite, no campsites down at the end of this lake were marked. So it, there, it said there were none, but we found this one. So welcome to Quetico where no maps match up and you just have to find something that works. George. Now don't touch our plates. I said no.
Nice little bench here, eh? Yeah, nice bench. Yes, we can see our breath. We are less than one month away from autumn. It's happening, folks. It's day nine, we're having breakfast. We broke camp really early this morning because it was windy all night and we were at the north end of Cache Bay, which was great, but we still had a little bit to paddle to get into uh, this narrows here. And we're just portaging around Silver Falls and that's behind me. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't even gone to look at it because I haven't even eaten yet and I'm grumpy and miserable and you know how that goes. Uh, so, this is where we landed, and you can probably hear the falls right there. So it's Silver Falls. My husband was saying that many, many years ago there was a big um, battle that happened here between the Ojibwe and the Sioux or something. So that's kind of not neat, but it's, there's so much history in this park, it's amazing. Anyway, so a little breakfast update, and I can't believe it's day nine already. Um, we are going to be paddling some of maybe a section of Saganagan's Lake, and uh, we might do a little bit of the falls chain. We'll see what happens. Um, it's cloudy today, we, there's supposed to be rain coming in, so We'll just see what happens, yeah. We made it to Bald Rock Falls. Uh, we're about halfway through the falls chain. Um, this is the section that I was really, really nervous about. And uh, we are doing awesome. Really awesome really super scared the whole time that we're just we're doing so good it's not as hard as I thought and I'm just I guess I'm just really emotional and happy um, yeah it's all about like pushing yourself and doing it right like we've come this far we we're on day nine and we've paddled down rivers and around rapids and through rapids and and uh, I think we can definitely do this so anyway this is bald rock It's not hard to see why, but it's a cool spot after this. We have about a 30 minute paddle and then we have three more uh, portages around falls to do. Uh, we 
we're going to camp between here and the next set of falls, but to be honest, I just kind of want to get it over and done with and enjoy the rest of my trip. Like I said, we're doing really good and I feel really good, but I just, you know, just kind of want to get that sore spot out of the way.